The other thing that we see in this population is a lot of comorbid borderline personality disorder. Interestingly, even if an individual doesn't fit a borderline personality diagnosis, often in the throes of an eating disorder, you see a lot of affective dysregulation, um, the malnourishment and the starvation that the person's doing to themselves is creating a lot of brain changes and the chemistry that's happening in their brain is creating impulsivity, a lot of affective dysregulation, um, a lot of irritability we see. Um, you also see a lot of black and white thinking, um, which is sort of the hallmark of borderline personality disorder. And these people have in, uh, instability in their relationships because of how dysregulated they are. So they might often look like they fit borderline personality disorder, but once they get better and recover from their eating disorder, you see all those symptoms kind of remit. Um, but when you're working with them, this is what you're working with.